What's up YouTube, Apple Tech Helper here, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of Default Cases. Now, I wanted to thank Default Cases for sending these out for review. Uh, I really do appreciate it. So let's get this out of the packaging. Now, Default Cases are these uh, cool cases, and they're the ones that had them on for a penny. But now they're 5 bucks, so they're pretty low price. So if you're the kind of person that likes to rock a couple different cases on their different colors on their device, then you can buy a couple and not be owed a ton of money. So let's get this out. That is it. That's just a packing slip. I don't want you to see my address here. So I got three cases. I got the uh, iPod Touch 4th generation, the iPhone 4, and the iPhone 3G and 3GS. So I got a, uh, a blue. This is a pretty pink one. It wasn't my first choice, but it's all the iPod Touch 4G cases they had in stock. This nice uh, blue one and this black iPhone 4 case. So let's get one of these out of the packaging. Open this up. So this is a pretty thin case, but it does actually feel very, uh, very solid. Uh, it does have these holes going through the plastic, but that's just to keep the case light and, you know, it actually feels really good. So let's get this onto the device and I will be back with a review right after the break. Stay tuned. Alright, so I have three cases to show you guys. This is the Boss Blue iPhone 3G and 3GS case. This is the Bold Black iPhone 4 case. And this is the Pretty Pink iPod Touch 4th Generation case. My favorite. <laughs> so let's get this onto the iPod and I will show you what it's like on there. So you're just going to push the sides in first and then just snap it around the iPod. Now this does look really nice. It adds this um, adds this pink sort of uh, sort of layer around the iPod. It does look really nice in the front. The back looks nice too. It has a single cutout for the camera, a single cutout for the uh, volume rockers, single cutout for the third pin and speaker, and a single cutout on top for your uh, sleep and wake button. Now, uh, as far as protection-wise, this does keep it really thin, but it does not provide any lip protection. Like on the front of the device, usually you're going to want a lip protection so that if you place it down on the table, it's not going to make direct contact to a screen, or even if you drop it, it's not going to drop directly out of the screen. This will do that. So if you're in a protection, you might be wanting to look for an alternative. The back does look... As far as how sturdy the cases are, the iPhone 3G and 3GS case is actually pretty sturdy. It won't bend that much. Uh, it pretty, pretty, pretty rigid. A little bit flexible, but you know it. It's pretty rigid. The iPhone 4 case, I think, is the best. I think it provides the most protection and feels the most solid. Uh, I think it's because of the sort of 90 degree turns or 90 degree angles on the case. Uh, due to the iPhone 4 design, but it does feel really solid. And if you're at, if you have an iPhone 4, I definitely think you should look into picking this up. I did give it to my uh, friend to check out uh, because I don't have an iPhone 4 case, and he thinks that this is one of the best cases that he's had. So I really think you should look into this. The iPod Touch case is probably the most flim uh, flimsy. It's due to the thinness, since the iPod Touch is very thin. But if it does feel really cool, and you know it's. A decent case. It's five bucks. So if you guys want to pick this up, I'll put the link in the description. Make sure you su subscribe up above, and that's it. Peace.